Hi and welcome to Felicious Reviews, a channel where we talk about all things beauty, which includes makeup, skincare, and sometimes hair care and nails. So if you're interested in any of those, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post, which is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Today I'm reviewing the LMS Peptide 4000 Flower Mask. And I'm going to be giving you an overview of how this mask is, what it does, and how my experience with this has been. So keep watching to see some product info and some application tips, or jump straight to the review at this time. Elemis is one of my favorite, favorite brands. Um, whatever I've tried from it, I've really, I've ended up really, really liking it. You can see some of my previous um, videos on YouTube as well as some posts on Instagram as to what else I've tried from Elemis if you're curious. But let's just get back to this mask and let's see what this claims to deliver and do for us. This is a mineral rich mask which is powered by thousands of fallen flowers to instantly revitalize the skin and reduce the appearance of pores. And it does all of that by these main ingredients. First of all is Nordic peat which is basically a form of charcoal um, and they use it for a brightening effect. And then they have peptide 4 um, and they use it for a skin synchronizing. I don't, I'm not sure what that means and they don't go into detail about what that is. Also have lactic acid and a willow complex for gentle exfoliation to reveal smooth skin even skin tone and texture it also features a cooling uh, mousse like uh, texture to revitalize the skin and reduce the appearance of pores um, and that sounds like a really good mask and the thousand flower part sounds very very luxurious um, but is it We'll get to that in a minute, but before we do that, let's, let's look at some application tips. So just a heads up, I'm not going to be actually using the mask on my face today because um, of many reasons. First of all is I'm actually trying a different mask these days um, and I don't, and that's the only one I'm using, so I don't want to compromise that experiment. Number two is that um, there's barely anything left in here anymore because I've used it for a long time. But I'm still going to show you how this looks and... I think there's only enough in here for that. Um, like I explained in the, um, uh, in the product info video, this is how it has a texture of like very velvety, very creamy kind of mousse. It's not grainy at all. But it does have these particles in them. I'm not sure if you can see those. Um, it does have particles. It's not exactly grainy. It doesn't feel like there's uh, granules or grains or whatever kind of particles. You can't actually feel them. But you can definitely see these particles. And it dries down to a very soft kind of um, texture. It doesn't dry hard. Um, and it turns almost grayish kind of. I would normally use a, a spatula to apply this because it doesn't have those um, very prominent grain like uh, particles in it. So I would just use a spatula to apply this. I would just use like silicone kind of applicators or spatulas to apply this, not exactly my finger. And I've been using this quite consistently over the course of a couple months maybe um, because I really really like LMS and that's why I've I was using this for a long time, but I never got around to re actually reviewing it for you guys. So I thought, why not let's do that today. So that's what we're doing here. I have used this to the point that there's not much left in here. Just a couple more applications and that is it. Now, since this doesn't dry hard, uh, so what I do is I just leave it on for like 15 to 20 minutes. Or when, my, when I feel my skin and it feels like... It feels dry, like it, the, the product doesn't come off my finger. That's when I would wash it off and uh, follow it up with whatever my skincare routine is. And this is how my skin looks after I wash that off. So I guess you can tell that this look, my skin looks brighter and um, it does feel a lot softer. But we're going to discuss all those results in the review part of this video, which we can move on to now. So, now that we have discussed all of those things, we can move on to the review my, and my actual experience and my journey with this product. So, I'm going to start off with my likes and first of all, I like the ingredients in this product. I like that it has kale and clay so that, uh, so that absorbs um, excess oil and excess dirt from your skin. Number two is packaging. I really like that the entire Peptide 4 line is very much coherent with all of their other um, products in the line. Like, they all have the same kind of uh, purple gradient thing going on um, 
it's all purple so i really really like that um a lot of products from that peptide 4 line are actually my favorites so you can check them out if you want to number three it is super spreadable and i guess you could see in the application as well that it was so easy to spread onto my skin you can use your fingers to apply it you can use a spatula you can use whatever you do on a normal basis and to have the most easiest application ever number four i love that it dries to a soft finish it doesn't dry hard it doesn't dry off to a cement like finish like a lot of products a lot of clay masks do and i absolutely hate those because it's a it's such a pain to remove those it's such a pain to have it on your skin any longer than you need to have it so I feel like it can give you much more comfortable wear if you're not able to wash it off like that second, the second it dries. It's not going to make you feel like your skin is going to crack off your your face. Number five is non-drying. What it's doing here is it's just cleaning away the excess dirt or impurities or oil or whatever that you have on your skin. But without extracting all the good stuff from your skin, that the natural oils that you actually need uh, or that your skin actually needs to stay healthy it's not taking away too much from your skin it's just taking away the excess that you're not gonna miss so afterwards even if you have dry skin you're not going to feel like your skin is getting even drier it's going to give you a soft kind of feeling on your skin number six um it's washable it's easily wash washable uh, and that's basically because it doesn't dry hard so it doesn't take a lot of effort to take the mask off even with those little particles that you see on it um, you don't need you don't need to like scrub a lot to get um, to make sure that those particles are completely off your skin just washing it uh, maybe four or five times just like washing your face is enough to take off all of the mask without feeling like you have some chunks of it here and there so uh, no scrubbing, no rubbing is uh, required, just plain washing off and you're good to go. Number seven is the results. My skin definitely, definitely, definitely feels a lot softer afterwards. It feels more refreshed, it feels brighter and more luminous and generally a lot more healthier than it was. I didn't feel like it shrunk my pores or made their appearance any smaller or reduce their appearance or whatever um, my skin didn't feel tighter or whatever but I did feel good stuff in my on my skin like I did feel like it was more radiant more luminous more soft more smooth so that is what I'm looking for in my masks in general I don't really want to feel like um, like my skin is very very tight and I cannot move it firming is okay but not tight in a bad way if that makes any sense but anyway those are all my likes and we can talk about my dislikes now which I didn't expect to have these many dislikes but I do have some dislikes first dislike is the ingredients I I think that's just my personal opinion I guess I, if I, I'm not sure if everybody would agree to this but charcoal for me or peat or whatever form uh, for me it just feels more like a gimmick because if you look up if you read on about how it's supposed to work it's supposed to have direct contact with whatever impurity oil or whatever is trying to extract um, if there is a layer in between that impurity and the charcoal itself it's not going to it's not going to work um, as it's led to believe so if this is so if this is so if this is over here is your um, excess oil or dirt or whatever in your port and this is your skin, your surface skin and then this is the mask or the charcoal, it's not going to suck it out like magnet. That's not how it works. What it needs to do is remove this layer and work directly with that impurity. So that thing, the charcoal works great or works okay when it's a surface kind of thing happening here so where impurities are over here and skin is here and then the charcoal is here then it can do its job but it cannot really do anything about the pores that are in like or the things that are inside that uh, surface layer of your skin um, and you don't need charcoal for that 
um, Kaylin Clay or Bentonite and stuff like that that actually works in a similar fashion so it's not something that you need to look for like a charcoal mask like I know that was all the rage um, a couple years ago every every mask had to be had to have charcoal in it because it was supposed to draw out impurities but that's not how it works it doesn't draw out impurities it just um, collects whatever it comes in contact with basically number two is low quantity as you can see from this mask this is not the full size this is a trial size or um, a travel size or whatever you want to call it the the actual full size comes in about 2.5 ounces which amounts to around 75 ml which in my opinion is not a great quantity or a lot of quantity to work with it is a low quantity so they're charging and it's obviously LMS so they are going to charge you a lot um, and they're delivering you a lower quantity than what any other brand would give you what most brands can give you so I am not really crazy about having to spend a lot but getting a lower quantity than what most brands come out with in their masks why is that a problem that is because number three less is not more with this product so you don't so the amount that I took out on my hand that actually looked like a lot but it's not a lot because when you spread it out it comes to a very it comes to a very very thin coverage thin layer um which which you know sometimes it just it's not enough for your face it's not enough to cover up so you need more of that product but having a lower quantity and then needing more product that's just that's like a con on top of a con uh because you want you need more product for an application but there's not enough in it to give you longevity with this product if that makes any sense number four is that it does have added fragrance now that doesn't bother me uh, personally but i know that a lot of people prefer not to have added fragrance or they're allergic to it um or they're against it for some whatever kind of reason i don't mind it but it does have a lot of fragrance and elemis is a brand that heavily heavily relies um on their fragrances so it does definitely have an added fragrance to it, which might be a deal breaker for you. It's not necessarily for me, but it, it, it might be for other people. And then the next point is kind of similar, but the scent of this product. I don't mind that they add fragrance in their products, but if they are, I want them to smell good, you know, uh, which a lot of them do. Uh, whatever I've tried from Elements, they always smell very, very nice and luxurious. But this smell in this product, that is that is so bad. It is so bad. It will completely turn you off from this product. It says Thousand Flower Mask, but it smells nothing like flowers. It smells very much like charcoal and like raw charcoal, like, you know, in its raw form. That's how it smells like, and that is not fun at all. So if you've been following me for a while, you would know that I prefer to have good fragrances in my skincare or no scent or no fragrance at all and this lies in a completely different spectrum because not only is it heavily fragranced and heavily scented the scent is not good either so completely completely the opposite of what i would want from a scent so if you get turned off from scents very easily this is something that you will not enjoy at all that brings me to an end to my likes and dislikes. You can find this at their website for $45. Uh, that's a lot. Uh, for 75 ml or 2.5 ounces. That is that is so much for, pro for a product that has charcoal in it, which is a gimmicky product. I feel like you can definitely do better. Um, my personal favorite these days is uh, a mask from uh, Grace and Stella. It's the Dead Sea Mud Mask. It is really good and it doesn't have gimmicky charcoal in it as far as I can tell. Um, that's a good one and if you're in a budget, that's a really, really good one because they come with a lot more quantity. So check that out if you're interested. So would I recommend this? Probably not. If you can't stand the smell, you can't afford this, then absolutely do not even consider buying this. But if you can stand the scent and you can afford it, then go ahead and purchase it because the, the results are good. It doesn't really reduce the appearance of my pores, but it does make me look more luminous and my skin a lot more soft. Um, and I wouldn't repurchase it because the smell wasn't too good. The amount is very, very low and it's quite pricey. So I wouldn't really purchase it. Um, 
even though I did like the results that I got. Um, so that is that and we can move on to my rating breakdown and first of all is performance. I'm going to give it a whole point because it performed for me how I wanted it to perform for me. Number two is price. I'm going to give half a point on that because even though it did deliver on its performance, I, I'm not too crazy about the pricing here. Number three is longevity and convenience. I'm going to give it a 0.75 because it is very easy to wash off and it just doesn't dry hard. But it isn't very long lasting as a product itself because it comes with a very low quantity. And you need more of it in um, a single application. Number four is recommendation and repurchase. I'm going to give it half a point on that because some people might enjoy this uh, so I recommend it to those people but I will not be repurchasing it and if you can afford it do not buy this. Uh, number five is special features which I'm going to give a 0.75 on uh, which brings my total foolishness score to a 3.5 out of a 5. This is a good product. I didn't completely enjoy it because of the scent. It really it really did taint the experience for me so that is that um, if you've tried this before let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this also let me know what your favorite product from LMS is let me know what your favorite mask is if do you look for charcoal in a mask or why let me know in the comments uh, but that is it for me today thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me stay tuned for my next video where I'm going to review the CauseRx AHA BHA clarifying treatment toner or hang back and watch one of my older videos